Welcome to a brand new class on DeanMD, where you can learn everything related about the basic sciences of medical knowledge and apply it to patient care in the future or right now. Okay, so did you figure it out? Well, a group of investigators from New Zealand did. Mir Halili and collaborators did a study in 2012 to determine the veracity of the thoracic anatomical landmarks like the ones we discussed in the previous video. To do this, they did CT scans at end tidal respiration to 153 supine healthy adults. Among other important landmarks, they discovered that the inferior vena cava and the esophagus most commonly cross the diaphragm at the T11 vertebral level, contradicting the information presented in the anatomical books. On the other hand, the aorta did cross the diaphragm at the T12 vertebral level. Nonetheless, the number of patients using this study is too small and we could benefit with a larger number of patients in a future study. So remember, in order to gain through knowledge, you need to be inquisitive and always question the information you are given. So keep reading, keep learning and keep helping patients. One of these structures that goes through the diaphragm is the esophagus. The esophagus is a muscular tube that connects the pharynx with the stomach. It's around 25 centimeters in length and if you want to learn more about it, stay tuned for the new lesson that I will release tomorrow where we'll talk about the anatomy of the esophagus. I spent most of this week reading through anatomy books and multiple articles and studies about the esophagus so I can create a useful anatomy video for you guys that will talk about the main anatomic features of this organ as well as clinical application. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you receive a notification when the video is released. You can also click here to watch the video when I release it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And remember, it's always for our patients. If you like this video and the content I make, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. With your help, I'm sure we can get free medical content to every corner of this world.